Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. This is a mix setup tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to install a script into OBS that will automatically uh, launch mix it up as soon as you open OBS. Because if you use mix it up, then as soon as you open OBS, you'll be um, opening that folder to launch mix it up anyway. So why not just do it automatically? And this is not only for mix it up, whatever else you launch as soon as you open OBS, you can launch those too. So for example, I have this overlay, uh, this controller overlay to show what I'm pressing on my controller. I have a touch portal, which is for my stream deck that I launch as soon as I open OBS. So yeah, whatever you want to launch automatically with OBS, you can, but yeah. Especially if you're opening uh, Mix It Up when you open OBS, might as well do it automatically. Uh, before I get into that, um, if you'd like to see more Mix It Up tutorials, uh, please subscribe to my channel, my YouTube channel. And if you like this video, please like it. And any questions you have about this, um, please leave a question in the comments. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to give you a link. I'll also leave this in the uh, description. All right, so we're going to go here. Uh, we're looking at the OBS Auto Starter. Uh, this is not a plugin. This is a script. Okay. So you'll go here. Uh, you'll click on Download. Um, and when you download it, you'll have something called the Auto Starter Lua. Uh, note the location of it, and I'm going to say the location it makes sense to put it in would be, one second, let's go to OBS. I would say put it in scripting, because it is a script. So put it in here. Like this. Okay. Uh, I can also leave that, no, never mind. I was going to say I can leave the file path for you, but we might have different file paths. But anyway, just note uh, this, that you're going from your OBS folder to data, to scripting, to 64-bit, and that's it. You know, and I would suggest putting it in there. That's what makes the most sense. Okay. After you have um, added the auto starter Lua to this folder, uh, you're not seeing my folder because I put it in a different folder because I was not smarter when I added it. And if I thought about it again, I would have put it here. Uh, but yeah, after you've added it to that folder, uh, let me drag over OBS so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you'll click on Tools, click on Scripts. Uh, okay, so I've already got it added here, but for the sake of just showing you. So I've clicked on the Scripts tab, click on the plus sign here, uh, click on Auto Starter to add it. And then once you've added the auto starter to Lua, you're going to be able to add executables here. That is the, uh, the file you click on to launch that application. So when you click on a plus sign, add files, we're going to look for the executable. So in this case, we're looking for mix it up. Uh, we'll go to let's see my mix it up folder, just type in MIX. There it is. I already have it added, but if I didn't, I would click on open. And that would add the executable uh, to this list. And then you'd repeat that process for whatever else you want to launch when OBS launches. So I have my open joystick display, my touch portal, uh, TTS labs, and so on. You can also check this box so that when you hit the X button on OBS, it also closes whatever programs were opened by OBS. That's pretty handy so that way you're not closing it manually. And yeah, that's it. That's what you do if you want to um, auto launch other programs when OBS opens. Um, whether it be Mix It Up or uh, Touch Portal or Open Joystick, whatever, whatever you want to launch when you open OBS. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If that was helpful, um, let me. Sorry, it's just you're not seeing many of me. Um, 
yeah, if that was helpful to you, uh, please leave a like, uh, subscribe. And also, if you'd like to catch me on Twitch, I'm on Twitch on Tuesday through Thursday and on Saturdays. Currently playing uh, Signalis on the weekdays and then uh, Punch Out and DKC Donkey Kong Country 2 on Saturday. And yeah, that's it. All right, thank you.